I'm here with IPFW senior Brooke Beischer and Brooke, a good result on Wednesday against Detroit, a 0-0 tie, really just shows where the team has come from the beginning of the season till now. But talk about the uh, 0-0 tie a little bit. What you know, what you thought of that match? Um, against a team like Detroit, we don't have the best. The record isn't in our favor when we've played them and stuff. So coming out with a tie is, it's a good result for especially how the earlier part of this season was going. Um, they're always, the game's a battle when we play them. Like we always expect a very good game against them. And actually this was the first game we put together a 90 minute performance. So we're, we're happy with how we did in it. Now back to back shutouts, what kind of momentum does that bring into, a, into the final non-conference match of the season against Robert Morris? Um, it's, it definitely helps with, um, like from a defensive standpoint, it, we have confidence right now. Like we're from front to back, our forwards to our defenders, we're defending all over the field, which we weren't doing too great of earlier in the season. So we have that and it also gives us attacking players kind of the confidence to go forward. Like we know our back line's going to get the job done for us. So it's kind of on the up and up right now. <laughs> and then Saturday is the last non-conference match of the season. How excited is the team to be able to get into the, the real heart of their schedule, the summer league schedule? Um, it's definitely, as a team, we're, I think Saturday is important to us and everything, but everything right now is kind of focusing on those conference games and, um, we've been making huge steps these last few weeks with how we've been playing and just score, starting to score goals and stuff. So now we're just hoping Saturday is one of those, another big step for us where we can get a win would be great to go on to into conference. And then just as long as we keep improving, well, I think we'll do fine and we're excited to play. Great. Thanks, Brooke. Mm -hmm. I'm here with IPFW head women's soccer coach, Jason Burr and Jason Team's coming off of a uh, result on Wednesday against Detroit, a 0-0 tie. Um, what were your thoughts on that match? I thought it was a great match, honestly. It was, uh, it was pretty evenly played. I thought Detroit came out, um, all credit to them, came out uh, pretty well in the first half. Fairly even there. I thought second half, um, the early part of the second half, they really put us under and, and they created a couple of really solid chances. But um, it, it was pretty awesome to see, I think, towards – the end of the second half and then well into the overtimes, I think you saw our players' fitness um, actually take hold. And it was the first time that um, our coaching staff, we were chatting about, I think it was the first time that we can recollect going up against a Division One opponent and saying, yeah, we were we look like the fitter team on the day. And so in the overtime periods, I thought we clearly had the better chances to win the game. Um, unfortunately, we didn't convert on any of them, but um, to get a second shutout in a row is, is fantastic compared to where we were a few weeks ago with the regular season. Um, talk about the progression a little bit from even a couple of weeks ago till now. It seems like the team has really turned the corner heading into the you know the heart of the season. Yeah, it, it's something that we've talked about, and, and the girls have heard it numerous times, but um, all, all of our games are in preparation for the beginning of conference, conference play. And I know we've been saying it a lot, but um, and it's very cliche. Every coach talks about wanting to peak at the right time. And um, I don't think there's really a, a formula that you can come up with that really works on an annual basis to do that. But um, it, it seems in theory like it's really working for us right now and it's happening for our players. And I think the confidence is building in the team. Um, I think the, the process has really taken hold. And I think defensively we're finally coming around and um, the next part of it. And it's something that's been plaguing us for the, the last year and a half really is just scoring more goals as we go. So the seven goal outburst last week was great, but um, we need to see if we can do that consistently. Um, we're not going to get seven goals a game, but if we can get one or two or three here and there, um, um, on a consistent basis, I think we're really going to have a shot during the, the conference season. And then talk about Saturday's opponent, Robert Morris. You know, what do you know about them and what kind of challenges do they pre present to the team? 
It's going to be interesting. I think they're going to be very similar to to Detroit and a lot of some of the the teams we've played recently in the non conference schedule. Um, they've got a, a good hard working group there. They've got good size. Um, they'll be pretty physical. So we know we're we're going to have to match up with some physicality, which is great because we know when we go up against Western Illinois next week in our um, first conference game, it's going to be a physical matchup. So that'll be a good way to end the conference or the non conference season. Um, outside of that, they've got a couple of key individuals that we know we're going to have to make sure that, that they don't have a big day. So um, they've got a player in the midfield that we need to keep an eye on, and a couple of their forwards are, are pretty dangerous. So I think if we can um, stay focused, stay checked in for another 90-minute effort, I think we're, we're going to be able to get away with the result there. Great. Thanks, Coach. And follow along at IPFW Athletics on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and at GoMastodons.com for all of the weekend's results. Go Dons.